Bondia Liam Smith amemuonya Bondia Hassan Mwakinyo kutoka nchini Tanzania kwamba anajua kilichomtokea mara ya mwisho walipokutana pamoja katika Spalling ama mazoezi yale ya kujipima ubabe wawili yao ilikuwa ni miaka minne iliyopita walikutana na katika mazoezi hayo Bondia Hassan Mwakinyo utamsikia hapa akieleza namna ilivyokuwa lakini ndio hivyo Bondia Liam Smith leo amemwambia Mwakinyo akumbuke kile kilichomtokea lakini pia Liam Smith amesema kwamba yupo tayari kutoa taji la dunia lakini yote kwa yote kwa sasa yuko vizuri na amejiandaa vya kutosha kwa ajili ya pambano na Hassan Mwakinyo siku ya Jumamosi hii siku ya Ijumaa wawili hao wamepima uzito na katika taarifa walioandika Sky Sport hii leo wamemsifia bondia Hassan Mwakinyo kutoka Tanzania wakimuita Tronado kwa kuwa ana umbo la kuvutia lililokaa kibondia kwa maana wamemwambia kwamba amejitunza na yuko fiti na anaonekana kweli huyu ni bondia walitazamana wawili yao yani Hassan Makinyo pamoja na Liam Smith katika ile face off na mara baada ya kutazamana Liam Smith alimtania kidogo bondi Hassan Makinyo kwa kumwambia kwamba akumbuke nini kilichomtokea mara ya mwisho walipokutana anasema kwamba anajua nilidhani ningemkumbusha kidogo mara ya mwisho tulipokuwa ulingoni nini kilitokea msikilize hapa Liam Smith akizungumza hilo lakini pia utamsikia Hassan Mwakinyo akimjibu Liam Smith kutoka na iko ambacho amekisema The fight's on when you get to go away and the fight's on so that's when it you know becomes real um, I knew of Hassan before I seen him here this week I knew what I had to prepare for and No, prepare for that. Come on, that's real. <laughs> you and me both, don't worry. It's interesting you said earlier in the week, sparring, sparring, it doesn't matter, but you've said to him at the face-to-face there, remember what happened in sparring, so what can you tell us? Yeah, no, I'm not going to tell other people, obviously, I'm not, I'm not a story bag, but I'll tell him, he knows. Um, so, I just thought I'd give him a little reminder the last time we were in the ring together, what happened, so, it, it, that'll sit with him. We know how much you enjoy that arena. We know how much you enjoy fighting in front of this home crowd. What happens when the lights go down? It's just you and Hassan and the referee tomorrow. Yeah, you know, obviously the Liverpool fans always turn out and I'm and I'm humbled and grateful for it all the time and I'm be 40 in Liverpool I've been able to repay them with a win. So, you know, I think Saturday's going to be no different and again under the lights, little gloves on. You know, we were a bit of fear in me because of the crowds. I think you got the best of me and you know, I think Hassan's in a world of trouble Saturday. Huyo ni bondi ya Liam Smith wakati wa kupima uzito na kubwa zaidi akimwambia na kumuonya Hassan Makinyo anajua kitu gani kilichomtokea mara ya mwisho walipokutana katika spari. Sasa bondi ya Hassan Makinyo aka Tronado au Kimbunga kwa sasa nafahamika kama Power Punch amejibu hilo alilolizungumza bondi ya Liam Smith kwamba akumbuke kitu gani kilichomtokea mara ya mwisho walipokutana katika spari ama ring. Msikilize bondi ya Hassan Makinyo akijibu hilo. Hassan Liam mentioned on stage for sparring you two had previously what do you remember about that Yeah he was hit me on board punch uh, I was get down I get down uh, was well, round number three or four but uh, I was stand up I was stand up and I was I was finish all the round so I believe uh, that was uh, four years five years ago Four, years yeah, yeah. 23 that's yes i was 23 years but now i'm different so i will show the, my different tomorrow do you think he would be silly to take confidence from the sparring men given how long ago it was tomorrow we will fight with a small glove so he he, he don't see <laughs> the power do you have a message for liam smith ahead of tomorrow night Yes, my message is uh, Liam Smith is a good fighter. Uh, I respect him a lot. I I I I I um I respect his his team, you know, because I was uh, in camp was his camp uh, four years ago to training. So I respect a lot of them, but also uh, I I respect because he he decided to to fight with me, you know. Uh, there is a lot of boxing here 154, but he 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 accepted Mukinyo. So for me I think it's like uh, is golden chance so i will show the people tomorrow what i have huyo ni bondia hassan makinyo akikubali kumheshimu bondia liam smith lakini pia akikumbushia kile kilichotokea miaka michache ama minne iliyopita kwa kusema kwamba ni kweli alimpiga ngumi katika sparring na alienda chini lakini aliinuka na kuendelea na mchezo ni miaka mipita na sasa Hassan Mwakinyo anasema yuko vizuri zaidi ya miaka ile na kuahidi kufanya vizuri katika pambano hilo. 
yote kwa yote ni mtanzania Hassan Mwakinyo anayewakilisha Tanzania katika pambano hilo tumtakie kila laheri kuelekea katika pambano hilo sisi kama wa Tanzania tuko nyuma na Hassan Mwakinyo kuelekea katika pambano hilo dhidi ya Liam Smith pambano litaoneshwa na kituo cha Azam Sports lakini pia litaoneshwa moja kwa moja na kituo cha Sky Sports bondia Liam Smith ni bondia namba moja nchini kwao Uingereza kati ya mabondia mia moja sarasini na sita lakini kidunia ni bondia namba sita kati ya mabondia elfu moja mia tisa arube na moja amesha cheza jumla ya mabombano sarasini na tano kati ya mabombano sarasini na tano ameshinda mabombano sarasini na moja uko kishinda kwa KO mabombano kuminanane amepoteza mabombano matatu na kipoteza kwa KO pambano moja ametoka sare pambano moja ananyota tano huyu bondia ambaye ni mzaliwa wa Liverpool Mercedes Uingereza aka yake ni Beef na ana umri wa miaka 34 kwa upande wa Bondia Hassan Mwakinyo aka Tanzania Tornado au Kimbunga kutoka nje Tanzania au kwa sasa anafahamika kama Power Punch ni Bondia nambali moja nchini Tanzania kwa Afrika pia ni Bondia nambali moja kidunia ni Bondia nambali 40 kati ya mabondia 1945 Ameshapigana jumla ya mapambano 22 kati ya mapambano 22 ameshinda mapambano 20 huku 14 akishinda kwa KO amepoteza mapambano mawili na pambano moja akipoteza kwa KO kwa sasa ana nyota tatu na nusu ana umri wa miaka 27 kwa sasa Bondia Hassan Mwakinyo pambano lake la mwisho ni lile alilocheza na Julius Ndongo ilikuwa ni mwaka 2021 mwezi wa tisa tarehe tatu alipomchakaza kwa TKO katika pambano lilopigwa katika ukumbi wa Ubungo Plaza huku pambano ambalo linakumbukwa na wengi ni lile alilocheza na Sam Ennington ilikuwa ni mwaka 2018 mwezi wa tisa tarehe nane alipomtandika kwa TKO Sam Ennington katika pambano ambalo lilifanyika huko Uingereza sasa anakwenda tena Uingereza kupambana na Liam Smith Liam Smith yeye pambano lake la mwisho ni lile lilocheza na Jesse Vergas alimtandika kwa TKO bondia huyu ilikuwa ni mwezi wa 4 tarehe 30 mwaka huu wa 2022 na, na huyu bondia Liam Smith anatoka katika familia ya ngumi ndugu zake watatu wote ni mabondia na kwa upande wa Hassan Mwakinyo pia anatoka katika familia ya mabondia kaka yake Hamis Mwakinyo na bondia na ndugu zake wengine sasa familia hizi za ngumi zinakutana lakini pia wakiwa na rekodi ya kufanana wa kucheza na bondia Sam Ennington wote wawili wamecheza na bondia Sam Ennington katika mapambano yao na walifanikiwa kushinda kwa TKO sasa wanakwenda kukutana katika jiji hilo la Liverpool Jumamosi hii na mabondia hawa yani Hassan Mwakinyo pamoja na Liam Smith walishawahi kupigana lakini katika sparring. Sparring inamaanisha kama mazoezi walishawahi kupigana. Kwa hiyo ni mabondia ambao wanafahamiana hiyo. Kwa hiyo nini mtazamo wako sasa kwa kile ambacho kitakwenda kutokea siku ya Jumamosi? Lakini sisi kama wa Tanzania tukimtakia kila laheri bondia Hassan Mwakinyo. Tujijiane katika sehemu comment hapo chini lakini pia usisite kusubscribe katika channel hii ili uweze kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi lakini kwa sasa tunapatikana katika Facebook, Instagram na Twitter tafuta wa news tz au unaweza kufuata linki ambazo zipo katika description hapo chini au maelezo zitakupeleka moja kwa moja katika page zetu za Facebook, Instagram na Twitter lakini pia nikukumbushe kwa sasa tunapokea matangazo mbalimbali mbali. Unaweza kutangaza nasi kupitia katika page yetu hii ya YouTube channel kwa bei nafuu zaidi. Kwa hiyo cha kufanya ni kuwasiliana nasi katika page zetu za Instagram, Facebook na Twitter. Unaweza kututumia ujumbe na mawasiliano yako tukawasiliana moja kwa moja kwa ajili ya kuweka matangazo yako hapa katika YouTube channel yetu hii ya One News TZ. Cha kufanya ni kutu DM au kutuandikia ujumbe kupitia katika page zetu za Facebook, Instagram na Twitter za One News TZ.